Hi, welcome back. Welcome to this forecourt film for this rather interesting 2007 Renault Traffic Motorhome Stroke Camper. Um, it's very much sort of camper sort of size, um, but is far more motorhome in terms of the way it's all laid out, which I'll, um, I'll obviously talk you through in a second and show you some of the features that this particular van has got. Um, it's covered, uh, as I mentioned, it's 2007. It's covered 87,500 miles. Um, the van itself is in absolutely fantastic condition. Um, there's going to be a couple of very small, um, uh, sort of like tiny marks and, and scratches, obviously, sort of age and use related, but um, but certainly nothing excessive at all. Um, in fact, the worst parts are probably just like a couple of little scrape marks to the to the front bumper and things like that. There, um, it's just been fitted with brand new um, Michelin tyres very expensive ones with a really decent tread on them um, for sort of uh, their cross climate tyres. So um, really good uh, for winter travel. Um, and also um, they've got very very good grip if you do have to drive onto a muddy campsite or something like that as well so really really good um, and very expensive tyres uh, all four of them have just been replaced um, and are all in place but um, yeah looking around the van it's uh, in very very good condition beautiful metallic silver paint barely any marks to show you other than that front bumper scuff all around the back is all very very nice again just a couple of very small little marks to the plastic trims and things there but overall i don't think anybody would be disappointed with it at all just come all the way around the front this bumper corner completely free of any marks a couple of very small stone chips as you'd expect um, but that's pretty much it so um, summer is allegedly around the corner. Uh, we're now in the middle of May and unfortunately not the nicest of days. Um, but to use your imagination for a beautiful blue skies, um, obviously with foreign travel out of the window for this year, for, for most of us, um, this could be a, a really, really good alternative. Um, you'll notice on the side that the van has got a full awning. Um, we also have um, side uh, panels and things like that for this as well. So you can completely create a full sort of outside area, um, which is uh, which is all nicely covered up and everything like that to protect you from any, any of the elements. Um, and, uh, and obviously just pretty much doubles the, um, the overall space and use of the van as well. Uh, we'll get straight into it um, and, uh, and sort of talk you through some of the features. Um, it's very much a, it's actually a, it's a two berth van, really, um, with seat uh, two people very, very comfortably. Um, you've actually got two um, seats in the back, which, which form the part of the bed, um, which do have seat belts. Uh, so you can actually carry rear passengers if you ever need to, but, um, but strictly speaking, there are, are only two beds in the, in the um, van. So it would really suit um, a couple and uh rather than sort of taking the, the sort of full family away um it's got it's the high top so rather than having the, the pop top that you would traditionally get on a lot of campers um it just means that you've permanently got space to be able to stand up in there um i'm six foot and i can stand up um nicely in there without uh without having to duck down at all um you'll notice that the front seats have all got this sort of red leatherette style um style seats they're all in very very good condition you've got a couple of small marks as you often get on these um, but they're really lovely and comfortable. These swivel around as well, um, so uh, you can actually have a decent amount of, of, of living space in the back here. Um, I'll just show you the sort of the van elements to it in terms of the um, the dashboard and everything. It's all in really lovely condition. Uh, the, the conversion was obviously done when the when the van was very very new, um, so there's uh, you know there's, it's not like it was a, a converted from a van that a van that that had had heavy use or anything like that. So um, all of the plastics, all the dashboard and everything like that, is all in absolutely lovely condition. Got a decent stereo up on here. You've got a multifunction um, controls for the uh, for the stereo. We also have air conditioning as well. So it's a very very nice van. Really really lovely and comfortable to drive. Um, and importantly, nothing rattles um, or moves around when you're driving. Um, I've been in a few camper vans where you're driving along, and, and uh, a lot of the sort of fit and finish and things like that uh, haven't been great. And, and you can hear sort of creaking and, and rattling and, and things like that. But um, absolutely nothing at all. So um, the other nice part of it is the both sides of the doors open as well. So it's really lovely and airy. You've obviously got uh, side windows here as well. Um, so it uh, lets lots of light in. The overall um, fit and finish is very, very impressive, actually. Really, really nice. Everything's been trimmed beautifully. It's been exceptionally well cared for. You can see up here we've got the sort of Velux window at the top which opens up and gets rid of sort of cooking smells and things like that and again just 
um, gives you a bit of fresh air. It's also a full off-grid camper, so we have, um, I'm not quite, quite sure if we can quite get up high enough to um, to show you, but you've actually got solar panels up on the roof as well, which power uh, the uh, the leisure batteries, which are stored underneath here. Again, all very, very neat and tidy. Uh, and then under this section over here, we have um, all of the stuff for the diesel heater and everything like that. So it's, um, like I said, it's completely self-sufficient. It's got um, a full electric plug-in, um, of which we've got all the cables for as well. And uh, you can obviously hook up to electric on a campsite, but you can actually also use the leisure batteries, which will charge from the uh, from the solar panels um, when you're out and about. So uh, so you've got full power, and and uh, and the diesel heater will take care of the rest of it as well. So all very very impressive. We'll just step inside. Um, got your full sort of control panel and everything like that up here for um, for the leisure batteries and um, and van batteries and all that kind of stuff as well. Um, so you can um, ch check things like the water level. Um, on the tanks and stuff like that as well. But that's all on here. All the way through, we've had these really nice little lights fitted, LED lighting all the way through, and you've got them all the way up here as well. Um, and uh, yeah, absolutely, everything works as it should. I can't find the switch for that one now. I'll stop playing for it, but that all is all nice. You've got lighting up on, on the top here as well. Things like smoke alarms and fire blankets have all been fitted under cupboard lighting again for the kitchen area uh, we have a stove up here webasto stove uh, it's sort of a, t a twin hob um, which again works works from the diesel heater um, for uh, for cooking we also have a microwave oven built in down here now the previous owners have actually very kindly left lots of things in here for you all in very very nice condition and everything but basically everything to uh, to get you started so that you can um, you can start using the van straight away, including all of your cooking utensils and uh, kettle, colanders, bits and pieces like that, and cups, bowls, wine glasses, everything like that. So it really is ready to go uh, on an adventure, which is quite cool. Um, over here we have um, a full sink. We also, so we actually also have hot water on this, which is again is very rare on a lot of um, a lot of campers. You won't have any any hot water. You'll just normally have the um, the water tank on board, uh, which would be uh, just for cold. Um, but the uh, the water tank can can warm up. There's also an extendable section um, which we can clip onto here to in, to uh, to make the um, the cooking area uh, a little bit larger to give you a bit more sideboard access. And then loads of handy storage bits and pieces in it again all of your cooking utensils and things like that in there and they've very cleverly packed it all away so it doesn't doesn't rattle while you're driving have a little fridge which again is run off the, uh, the leisure battery um, with a small freezer compartment at the top for ice and things like that and then loads of just handy little cupboards for storing all of your bits and pieces more of them down here as well that's got all of your fuse boxes and everything like that uh, we also have a twin three pin sockets as well as a, a 12 volt sort of cigarette lighter style socket on the back there and it's just really nicely finished on the inside all of the headlining and everything like that in lovely condition back down to the van section got a really handy storage unit up on here this is for the uh, the rest of the bits for the bed um, and uh, and you sort of room for, to put your um, your pillows and things like that. Um, at night time, you've got the curtains that pull across all the way to the side to give you some privacy. Um, and then they also have stick-on suction cup ones that will fit round to the front. Um, and uh, and again, just sort of block off the um, the windscreen um, and the side windows and everything as well, just to give you complete privacy. Uh, the main drawer on this one is we open this door. We have a full shower room. And toilet. I'm just going to try and zoom out here to give you a bit more of a view. Um, well, this is fantastic. I'll run around the back actually and show you from the, from the inside. Um, but you've got a full bathroom sort of set up in here. We have a sink. Again, obviously, can be controlled from the hot water. Um, and then also, this pulls out and actually becomes a full shower and everything like that as well. So that clips up onto the top. Um, you've got curtains, obviously, for the back there, a shower curtain. Again, for a bit of privacy, um, and uh, again, everything that you absolutely need. There's no plug in the sink. Basically, when it's filled up, fill up, um, you just lift this up, and it pulls it down to the back to the wastewater area. 
We also have a, a full chemical toilet in the back with um, with obviously the cassette to change as well. I'll run around the back and just show you from this side just to give you a slightly better angle. So twin doors at the back. As with most traffic, you'll be able to un unlatch that and open the doors pretty much flat to the back. But we pull this back in here and it gives you a better idea of the small bathroom area. So the floor on here will lift up and you've got the full shower tray. Again, this is all waterproofed, so you just close the door um, so you're able to have a shower. And the other really lovely um, and very handy thing for this as well is that when you're driving, um, as the windows are obviously glass on the back, if you leave this door open, there's a small latch down there to stop it from closing while you're driving. And then obviously you can actually still see through the back windows um, when you're driving. It just makes um, reversing a lot easier. Obviously just mo on the motorway, um, it really sorts out your visibility so you can still use your rear view mirror and things like that. So it's been very, very well thought out. Uh, the cassette for the toilet is down in here. So a removable one there. Uh, this is the... Um, uh, the pole here for taking the awning out and then in terms of additional cupboard space and handy handy spots we've got brilliant amount of um, space up in here you've got a small vanity cupboard just there behind the mirror and then also hanging space which is very very useful so a full wardrobe in there as well so loads and loads of places to um to store all of your your clothes and belongings and then additional bits and pieces and things like that um they've also included some of these as these are all brand new just in case you do get stuck you can actually put those underneath the tires to help you uh get out um and then if we have a look at this this is the control unit for the solar panels that are on the top as well so really neatly done all the way across you imagine that if you uh pulled up somewhere where there was no one else around and you'd have an amazing view either well let's just say using the shower and you can use your imagination for other things and like i said lighting all the way through as well close this up you'll also spot that we've got the bike rack on the back and a tow bar as well should you need anything like that um obviously all the fill a neck and everything like that for the water tank that's in the back. I'm not entirely sure exactly how much it holds, but um, they're, they're generally, yeah, the previous owners have said that it holds a decent amount of water. Probably not for loads of showers and things like that, but but certainly um, certainly plenty to, to use for a weekend. But yeah, it's, uh, a, like I said, a very, very impressively laid out and really nicely finished all the way through. In terms of getting the beds down, so obviously this is basically these seats here turn um, into the uh, into the beds. Um, so these two cushions get removed. That will just show you the up on the back here. Remove the um, the two cushions. Pop those up there. And then basically this seat clips out, and then this part folds over here and locks into place down here to give you the full flat bed and then by the time you've put the cushions back on there you have the um you have the uh the availability for for the bed there um for additional space you um would just have this uh, seat spun round and then essentially you could actually put your feet up on the front of the seat with that in here um it, it, with the seat uh, turned round as well so there's absolutely plenty of space um, the previous owner uh, also has worked out, so this, that would basically create two single beds. Um, and the previous owner has also included some slats um, to be able to turn this into a full double bed, um, if that's uh, something that you would prefer to use um, in here as well. So um, it's a very, very handy kind of thing that they've, um, that they've added in there to be able to turn this into a full double bed. I hope I've covered up for most things in the video. Um, I'm sure I've, I've, there's a couple of bits and pieces that I've forgotten, um, but I'll try and include some photographs and things like that as well. Um, but like I said, very, very impressive. Uh, really would suit either just a couple that were that were uh, wishing to, to travel away. Um, and, uh, you know, you can absolutely be self-sufficient in this one. Uh, a lot of the camper vans, obviously, that don't have toilets and cleaning facilities and things like that, um, you really do need to stay on a campsite, whereas with something like this, you really can be completely self-sufficient um, and, uh, yeah, have a, a very nice time away. Um, if we can help with any further information, um, then please do let us know through our website, which is jhjarvis.co.uk. We'd be more than happy to, uh, to try and help you. Um, obviously, if you'd like to arrange a viewing, 
um, then uh, we'd absolutely uh, love to show you the van in person. Thank you very much again for watching and we'll see you next time.